Hello again, Bob Stockberger, pastor of LifePoint Giles with you for our Wednesday devotion. You know, last week we talked about how God used ordinary things, the staff of Moses, the, the rod that shepherds used all the time, ordinary thing, and he turned it into something extraordinary, even miraculous. Now we move to another little situation. After those miracles were shown to Moses by God, Moses said to the Lord, uh, I'm in Exodus 4, verse 10. <clears throat> he says, Oh, my Lord, I am not eloquent either in the past or since you have spoken to your servant, but I am slow of speech and of tongue. And he was complaining about one of his weaknesses. He said he was not, um, the original Hebrew looks more like not eloquent. Uh, you know, some people say Moses may have stuttered or stammered or have some sort of speech impediment. Not so sure about that. It was um, not eloquent, and he may have had trouble in his Egyptian education with public speaking or whatever. And then the, the word in Hebrew that's used for his um, tongue and his mouth is actually heavy. And uh, that also means hardened. Over and over in the Old Testament, when God talks about Israel having a hard heart, it's the same word, heavy. It's a heavy heart, a hard heart that's, you know, blocking out the Lord. So those are the words that this really means. I'm not eloquent, God. My speech is not good. Uh, I, my words don't come out, and I may even be stubborn. And I am not a good speaker. And, and God's response is really funny. Um, who's ma who has made man's mouth? Who makes him mute or deaf or seen or blind? Is it not I, the Lord? And then he goes on to, uh, call Aaron. Aaron was coming up and he said, Aaron will be uh, your spokesperson and I will I will be with your mouth. And using these beautiful words, Yahweh, I will, the Lord, the creator God, the I am will be with your mouth and Aaron's mouth. And so he took away, he used mo the, the most uh, weak part of Moses. He turned into a strength. And that's indeed what God can do if you allow him. <clears throat> I'll never forget um, a perfect example of this. I have a friend uh, of many years. We were in church together in my prior church. Way, way back, we would visit people together. Uh, he would laugh. We would talk. It, it, we had a wonderful relationship. And it didn't matter that this gentleman, Virgil, was blind. Uh, we, he walked all around town with his white cane. He had an education, was an English professor at a, a, a large university. He had a family. He was sang in the choir, taught Sunday school, was a deacon. We just had wonderful times together. We went on visitation uh, to people's homes um, back then. And the funny thing is, and this is true, I never thought <clears throat> of Virgil as being blind. I know that sounds crazy to you, but he had such a joy in life, never even mentioned this uh, disability. He had been blind since the age of a young child. Never really even discussed it unless we, I asked him about it and he would talk about it. But I just thought of this as I was preparing this devotion. You know, Jesus heals blind people in the New Testament a lot. He'll spit and put the mud in their eye or just lay his fingers on the eyes. The Lord did not heal Virgil of his blindness. Even in his old age now, he's still blind. But I never knew he was blind. I never thought of him as blind. We were just good friends. And that's the way the rest of the world saw him because he never thought of it as a weakness, God used it to bless many students in his classes. 
so many people that we visited, his church family, his friends. It was as if he wasn't blind. God used his weakness and it became a powerful strength. Don't you see that? Yes, there are people that have difficult disabilities. Don't get me wrong. There are people that have uh, that I've dealt with professionally and know personally that have horrific disabilities. And we all have weaknesses, uh, things that are our weakness uh, that we don't even sometimes want to talk about. But listen, if you give your heart to the Lord and you turn your whole life to Him, He can use your weaknesses. And many times, if you will give those weaknesses to Him, he can use them to bless others, and they become a huge strength. No, God did not heal the blindness of Virgil. But because of his blindness, many people were reached for the Lord. And God used him and made his weakness into a strength where people talked and treated him as if he had uh, no weakness at all. God can use your weaknesses, no matter what they are. If you turn them to him, he can bless them and, and many times make your weaknesses a powerful strength and a powerful witness for his kingdom. Think about that. Pray with me. Father God, so often my weaknesses, um, I don't want to give to you so often. Um, many people will look at their uh, problems or their, their health issues and uh, disabilities and, and, let them, and let them overpower uh, their life. But Lord, all of us, we all have weaknesses. We all have faults. We all have frailties. May we give them to you, Lord, that you may glorify them. You may lift us up and use our weaknesses to bring glory to you. Lord, you do it all the time. You did it with Moses. You did it with Virgil. Lord, you can do that with any of our lives. If we totally submit to you and trust you, you will turn our weaknesses into strengths to glorify your kingdom. Oh, Father, thank you for, for your power. In your precious name I pray. Amen. Thanks for joining us. Hope you have a great week. If you're looking for a church home, Life Point Giles, right in the heart of Parisburg and Giles County, 600 Taswell Street, Sunday School 1015, Worship 1115. If you have any questions or concerned about your faith, Here's my email address. Please email me. I'd love to talk to you about that. And you have a wonderful week. God bless you.